Yeah, all right, you had to see my logo. I had to fill up some of this video with some of that static so that I could get straight into the how-to. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and make a swatch. Um, here's what I do. Um, you could have Photoshop, I use GIMP or McGIMP, whatever, it's a free program. I do file new, I create a new file, thousand by thousand, you can do that in Photoshop. Um, you can change the DPI to 72, it doesn't need to be 300, okay? And then you say okay. So now, I've got uh, multiple screens here, let me drag this guy over. So now I've got this uh, Squarespace, right? And it has um, thousand by thousand, right? So I don't have anything on here right now. Um, so if I want to, I could sample uh, one of these colors. So say for instance, I want to uh, do this guy, right? Red M13. So if I wanted to do this, I can sample it with my little eyedropper and it has the same thing um, inside of uh, Photoshop and you can just sample the color. It'll change it here or whatever, however it works in your Photoshop. You go to your little file and you can just use the bucket and fill it. So let's, let me s switch these guys. Okay, so there's my swatch. That's my color. So it's red M13. So I would then export it um, however you do it um, in Photoshop. I think there's a web export. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. But I would call it uh, red M13 so I know what it is, right? And then swatch. I just do that just so I know it's the swatch. And we'll leave it as a PNG. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to, let's see here, let's go to your site. Oops. Big mistake there. Okay. So AGI, let's go here, color swatches. I'll throw it into the self color swatch, set export. And I do it for the colors that are just the standard colors. If you wanted to have it where you're showing the actual texture, then you know you have this file. I have it blown up pretty pretty large, and then the actual PDF you sent me has um, better um, clarity on these. But you can just sample. <coughs> excuse me. You could just sample uh, a little bit off of the large one. Copy that, and you can fill this swatch space with um, a pattern or with the color itself. Okay, or just you can paste and then stretch it or whatever. So. Um, I don't have the large one open. I guess I can open it up. Let me open up a bigger one. 1943. Where's the JPEG? Leave the JPEG. Do I have the PDF? Eh, it's on my desktop somewhere. I don't feel like digging for it. Anyway, um, so it's a 3M. Uh, I think it's on my downloads. Yeah. Let's see. I think it's three M. Yeah, I don't know where it is. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, you send me the PDF. I don't like digging for it in my, in my <laughs> email either. But um, so anyway, you have the swatch. I went ahead and exported as red. So then I just go back to the Shopify site. I log in. The, click on apps. I click on an infinite product. You know how to get there. You go ahead and find your color. So if you have multiple swatches, you can create another swatch sit thing and then do it yourself. But let's just edit the one that's there. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the swatch. I scroll down. I have all the colors here. And you go ahead and you can create um, a new one. So you add it. So let's call it red M13, whatever, right? And if I wanted to adjust the price and charge for it, I could. So I can create a charge, right? Or I can use an existing variant. Say, for instance, there's a variant in the store that I have. I could find something that's in here already that's created. Ah, uh, whatever. It's pro feature, screw them. Um, so let's go ahead and go to adjust price. I'm going to leave it. I don't want it as one color. If you did have one color, you can actually select um, the color here yourself. So you don't have to create a swatch that way. You don't have to do what I just did for the color. But if you want absolute colors, you can do that. Otherwise, you could sample this, right? And then find out what the actual value is. And it's right here, EF3E36. So I can copy that and not even use an image. But just use images, it just makes your life a lot easier so you get the exact color or whatever, you know. So I could just change this in here. What is it? Uh, EF3E. I 
you have three B, I think it's three six. And there you go. So there's the red, there's the color. So I can just set it as a color and just leave it and call it a day. And it would actually load faster on your site. So your product pages would load faster. So if you have a lot of images and say so you have a lot of colors that are just flat colors, like the gold metallics and this other stuff, you probably want to leave images. But then if you have flat colors, I'd probably do them this way so they load faster. All right. So anyway, if I didn't um, have that, I'd select image. I'd go to upload. I'll go and find, uh, choose an image to upload. And I'll go ahead and find... Not the dog toothbrush, and then my computer is going to slow down here. Hold on. Let's go to here, and then you're here, here, go do that red. Okay, so then it uploads my color. I select my color, and now it's there. I select save, and then I'm looking good. So now if I go back to your product page, here and I refresh, let's just see my newest red there. And there we go. There's my 3M. But see how clean how clean that is, how the clean that color is. And so you can do it with just the color. I'd probably just use colors without the swatches for these guys. Um, and that's it. Simple. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one.